I am a capitalist. I love profit. I think profit is the one financial instrument that could eradicate poverty, uh, could give health care to all, and solve our economic problems. Now, a Democrat socialist, communist, no, they hate capitalism, so that's what we're going to talk about. And i got to tell you, I struggled to come up with the worst idea of Democrat socialism because there's so many bad ideas. But I'm going to stick to the economy. And, and for me, the big issue or the big thing we need is simply more jobs and better wages. We get that, we solve our problems. So how would the Democrat socialists do it? Let's talk about that. Now, the Democrat part, we get all warm and fuzzy and cuddly feelings. We think about democracy. You know, we're participating in government, voting, and the rest. They have a little deeper meaning. You see, they literally would take over business. Let's take their favorite target, which is Walmart. You know Walmart. It started out, actually, it's a capitalistic, heroic story. Started out with Sam Walton. He was in World War II, and when he got out, he got hired by J.C. Penney, worked there, and came up with the idea of competing with other retail stores like J.C. Penney, and this would be his business model, offer stuff at cheaper prices. Well, in case you haven't kept up with it, pfft, success, biggest company in the world, over two million employees. Now, it is true the four kids of Sam are in the top ten richest people in America, four of the top ten are Waltons. And so you do have people making nine, 10 bucks an hour at Walmart. So that's why Walmart is written up by socialists nonstop. They hate Walmart and would love to do things to it. And by the way, let me say this. I have problems with Walmart. I don't like the fact that they usually get a free tax ride when they go into a community. I don't like the fact that so many of their employees are part-time. I understand why they do it, and it's strictly government regulations over the top. But I don't like that I change some of that. But anyway, let's talk about Democrat socialists and What's so horrible about their idea? Well, if they could just have it their way, it'd be simple. And this is right out of the Karl Marx playbook. I mean, this is the sweet spot for Marx and communism, which is you take the ownership away from the Waltons and the shareholders, and you give it to the employees. So those two million plus people would make all the decisions concerning, you know, what the company's doing, where it's going, or whatever. And you could do away with the second most hated thing from social democrats, which is profit. They hate the profit motive. And so they could, you know, make or give just what's needed and do away with this whole profit thing. And so it just would make society so much, so much better. Well, I think, you know, that's not going to happen. The only way that could really work, because they would destroy Walmart in a couple of years doing that. The only way it could work is for them to take over the whole retail industry and really the whole nation. And honestly, they'd like the whole world. That's their ultimate goal. Probably not going to happen. So here's the steps that social uh, Democrats talk about right now. Number one, unionize Walmart, other companies like that, because then you get more control, you got more say, bigger power against those evil shareholders. A second step is to hit more regulations into these companies, and the big one, of course, is minimum wage. The number they all use when I read them is $15 an hour, so you force, you order companies through government laws to pay all the people $15 an hour and then go from, you know, from there. Now again, I'm against all of that. I think less regulation, more freedom for the companies would go much further in helping people make more money and do more good. But that's where our argument stands. I got to tell you, I'm amazed that so many people in this country don't know what democrat socialism is and so many young people are flocking to it. Read up on this, folks, okay? Do your own research. Democrat socialism and communism has absolutely failed throughout history. What more do we need to know?